Hey guys, just a minor update to the Hyper HDR or Ambilight videos I've posted. First, thank you guys so much for watching those videos and engaging in the comments section. If you haven't seen the newest one from March, I'll link it up here as well as down in the description below. I want you guys to know that I do read and respond to comments and I'm releasing an updated version of the level shifter with uh, most of the changes resulting from your feedback. So thank you guys so much. Now, before I start working on the new video, however, there are two items I want to address right now because they're kind of important. Well, firstly, a couple of viewers reported that no matter what they set the RGB color order to, they simply could not get the colors correct. Now, I assume these were fringe cases where there was some other issue the viewer overlooked or configured incorrectly, but well, today, while testing a variety of Pi boards, capture devices, and so on, I ran into the same situation. And eventually, and I mean eventually, I found the solution. There is a bug, either in the capture device itself, maybe it's in the Linux drivers, or video for Linux, or perhaps in Hyper HDR. Either way, the fix in the web interface for Hyper HDR, go over to video capturing and scroll down to hardware hue control and just change the zero to a one then scroll down and click save setting don't ask me why this fixes it but it does in my case i suspect that the default capture processor settings are just off and while you generally want the hue to be zero in hyper hdr zero just means use default so by changing it by that tiny amount that's enough for it to use your value which is close enough it's not going to actually affect the hue now the second issue for those of you who do not wish to solder a header onto a pi zero board well it turns out there's a 15 dollars kit available link in the description below it allows you to hammer the pin header into place with no soldering it sounds a little scary but people swear by it so it must work now my thanks goes out to viewer sclampton I hope I'm not butchering your name there, but thanks so much for the tip on that solution. Uh, within the next week, I will have a whole new video, including the new level shifter that provides more functionality. Specifically, it supplies power to your Raspberry Pi like the old one, but this time it does it through a USB-C output rather than directly on the header pins. This lets you utilize the built-in protection circuitry of the Raspberry Pi. It also supplies the 5 volts to the LED strip through the 3-pin connector. So no more barrel jack screw on adapter needed. When you order the new level shifter, you'll receive a one foot type C cable that's either type C on both ends for the Pi 4 and above or micro USB on one end for the older units. Now this cable is included with the price of the level shifter, which by the way, is being reduced to just $20 or $22 if you want three L shaped corner connectors and a couple of pieces of Velcro thrown in actually off-brand hook and loop fastener but who's counting shipping is not included because i do ship worldwide and that rate goes all over the place that's all i've got for the moment but be sure you're subscribed so you'll be notified when the full video on the new level shifter is published there are quite a few additional new tips and tricks i've learned this year that'll be featured in that video as well i do have some other videos coming soon some 3d printed relating i don't know I'll take it apart and investigate it and figure it out. Some electronics, but uh, I will continue improving my Hyper HDR implementation and of course, keep you guys up to date along the way. Thanks so much for watching and thank you guys for all the feedback and input that has helped this project continue to progress. As a side note, I'd also like to thank the team over at Hyper HDR as well as the original Hyperion without which any of this would be possible or none of this would be possible. <laughs> I'm not retaking that line. Please keep the comments coming and you'll see me in the next one. And now I can put my Xbox controller, AKA teleprompter scroller away. Click something on the screen if it uh, interests you and bye for now. Thanks for sticking around so long.